What's going on, y'all? What is going on? Thank you for choosing once again to click on my channel. This is Oya Oya. I am simply here to do my job. Get the message to the collective. How are you guys? Thank you everybody that has been liking, sharing, supporting the channel. Welcome all new subscribers to this kind of pool. Okay, so we have somebody who could be getting introduced to um, the Christ consciousness and chakra alignment. Please, guys, only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you so you can have it. We are all stars in our own show, but this may or may not be for you. Okay, someone has been working with their chakra series, and this is only to improve your overall well-being. So you could be practicing some form of spirituality here. Okay, and if you're not familiar with chakras, this is basically just concentrating energy within your body. Okay, somebody could be um, self-examining. Someone's in the U.S. that, you know, your bloodline didn't start here. Okay, so you could have been realizing that whatever you was devoted to, or worshiping, or whatever that's changing, it's a new wave of in information coming in for somebody. Yeah, so someone's learning, um, you could be learning about um, spiritual practices and different forms of witchcraft, spell work, meditation. Yeah. And this is because you have experienced some form of spiritual warfare here. Okay, so somebody is experiencing um, having certain things done to them in the background. Someone could be playing um, with some form of witchcraft here, some spell work. Okay, and this is somebody that's close enough to take from you, you know, and help you. Yeah, so somebody's vibing. Um, this is a bright being that's vibing around somebody that could be in a low consciousness um this person could be a family member friend or it could be somebody you work with here yeah this person is hollow in the prayer so it's coming up because somebody is in or uh, around someone that's in a depressive state here they already in this mentality of being in the pit um you know believing that they lack something and if somebody feel like they lack something then they want to take care of something it's all it is to it. Like somebody's in this in this depressive state. Yeah, so someone could be in a housing or a complex where people do a lot of different projecting to you. Um, this is also a form of illusion. Uh, people call it street theater. Things that go on around you that may not be what they appear. Okay. Yeah, so I'm picking up somebody could even did something against somebody's marriage here. And this person, um, I don't know why it's like a stabbing at her. Yeah, there's a stabbing, but this is a part of a return. So you got that somebody's dealing with a reversal here. Whatever came back, they could be going through something within their marriage. Um, and this is actually somebody trying to cut somebody in. Yeah, so somebody within a marriage feel like they need you because things are cold right now. And this could be the world. You know, it's a cold world we just dressing in, okay? 
especially a celestial body, you could be experiencing going through something within your own temple. So this is why it's good to get into meditation and uh, chakra alignment. Okay, I'm going to get you a couple of these cards. See where this could be happening. Yeah, so someone needs to get rid of their ego here. Okay, somebody is motivated, but someone wants to figure out their true purpose. Okay, and this will start you on your spiritual path. This is somebody that's questioning what it is they're supposed to be doing in life. Okay, somebody's trying to figure it out. Um, this is also involving somebody could have a big ego. Somebody has a big ego here. Yeah, it keeps coming up. Okay, so somebody feels um more empowered by how people look at them or what their social status may be or how things appear than actually, you know, building a relationship or loving within a relationship. Okay, so you're being told um, whatever that feeling is in your gut, more than likely it's trying to tell you something. Okay, when anytime you feel something within your body, this is. Your your body's way of revealing certain things to you that could be going on around you. Okay, it could be three people that was coming against somebody in their child here. Um, these people are mental, okay? This, these people are sick. These are the type of people that do receive, you know, uh, government assistance on the the health of their children or, you know, somebody that may say that their child has some type of uh, behavior disorder or something so they can get a check. But somebody was trying to do something against somebody's child here. Yeah, but whoever this person is sold out. So somebody that's already sold out, okay? They have already sold their soul. They're in this lower vibration. They don't really believe in the Christ consciousness because this person feels like they are a God. Okay, so this energy coming up around a gas station here. Um, There's something coming up in the news about a gas station. Yeah, so you're being told, don't worry or stress about material items. Somebody could be divorcing somebody and you feel like, you know, whatever you guys have together, that you can't either get that yourself or something's being balanced out here, whether you know it or not. Okay, so this could also be somebody that's married to a false prophet here. This person is a liar. Okay, this is someone that knows the word. They will know the word. Okay, but they don't know God. They, they don't have no idea, idea who God is because whoever this person is has already sold out a long time ago, okay? Their, their whole mission is to create some type of stress and conflict on somebody, okay? Because they're always in this lower consciousness. So this this lower consciousness constantly has this person worrying, um, worrying about different, you know, material items and money. Um, this is also, you know, worry, worry, worry is a part of the oppressor. Okay, I don't know who lied and said that, you know, the fear and doubt. The only thing you fear is God. Okay, so know that things are going to come in for you that you need, especially if you are completing a certain cycle within your life. Okay, because I get that somebody is moving away from somebody that has a big ego here. Yeah, it may have looked good on the gram or Facebook or whatever, you know, when it comes to posting pictures and shit, but somebody's not, somebody's not happy here. Okay, somebody... Like I said, it could be married to somebody that actually, you know, preaches the word or does whatever. But, yeah, this person is stroking the goat, okay? So, like I said, this person is already, you know, helping whoever the dude is down below, okay? Okay, so you got gunshots coming up around a gas station. Um, this could be involving some brothers or two brothers that are involved. Yeah, because you're being told you're on this intuitive path. And when you become intuitive, you have to listen to your body. Okay, you have to be ready to receive messages from a higher source here. And this is, 
you know, requiring you to let go of your ego, your pride, what you may look like, how people may view you. You know, it's going to be a lot of different things that are cast upon you, but you cut, you cast your worries, okay? You cast your worries to the most high. You don't worry about if someone understands who you are or why you do the things you do, you know? You're not people pleasing. You're into pleasing God here. So you're being told to love on yourself, love on those around you that love you. Somebody could be dealing with something with their brother here, um, having to do a 911 call. Yeah, because it's a return coming out here, you guys. So whoever this is could be dealing with um, somebody's coming in on somebody's in somebody's home. Um, and this could actually be connected to somebody's brother here. Yeah, because you have two people false, um, did a false collaboration to tamper with somebody's love here. So like I said, somebody could have actually been doing love spells or doing something against somebody's marriage union or whatever. But, you know, you're, you're on this intuitive path. So you want to continue to stay positive, be positive, love on yourself, um, prepare yourself for your healing journey. Because once things are revealed to you that you need to be revealed, this is going to, what's going to give you a chance to move forward in life. Okay, because you could have actually felt like you was in love with somebody or you needed somebody and you didn't know that this was a part of like a sex trap or some type of binding spell. Somebody was doing some work on someone um, within some type of union. Okay, and now they under judgment. Okay, so there's a judge out here that could have been tampering with something. Yeah, this person is inside of a cult or a false religion here. Okay, and they also pillow talk about some of their cases. Okay, so if it's a judge out here that's pillow talking about his cases, he could be spreading that information to somebody um, that he believes that he he loves or he's going to be with. But this person is taking that information somewhere else and doing spell work. Okay, and the most of them are doing it for material wealth, items, social status. And so imagine, you know, changing somebody's life with, you know, spell work and lies and then, you know, thinking shit ain't going to come back to you, but the shit comes back. So. Um, you got to somebody could have been dealing with an agent here. This agent appears to be, you know, a friendly neighbor or somebody that walks the somebody that walks the dog constantly. Somebody that's outside when you outside, you know, start being aware of certain things that's being played out around you. Okay. I don't know why a false collab came back out. So somebody was working with a judge here. Okay. Somebody somebody was um working with a judge, and this could have simply been somebody that was sleeping with a judge and they didn't know that this person was actually casting spells on them yeah but somebody's being told to save they self okay those who curse you will be cursed no weapon formed against you shall prosper yeah this is time for you when you're on your intuitive path it's time for you to get connected okay start reading writing meditating because this wisdom and knowledge that's coming in for you is going to give you what you need to move forward yeah Somebody was supposed to be a sacrifice here. So you have somebody was supposed to be a sacrifice, and this could have been, you know, somebody did something within the courts for you to be sacrificed, whether it was for, you know, social status or for money here. But, yeah, these people are godless. So they don't know who God is, okay? They choose not to call on God until they end, you know, the final hour here. So it could be um four people that's connected to somebody. That's godless, or they could be in some, some type of uh, sorority or group. Yeah, but somebody wants to apologize here, okay? So somebody wants to apologize for what some somebody did because they was actually being a puppet master, okay? So whether the judge was being um, a puppet master or this um, whoever is it, whoever it is inside this union, somebody was actually you know, being a handler here, okay? This person could have been sent in just to be, you know, pull your strings or pull on your heart chakra or bind to you. Yeah, but all new everything's coming in for you. So you have all new everything coming in, okay? This could have been why your dreams been interrupted. Um, somebody could have been trying to connect with you in the astral realm or, you know, project things to you within your dreams. But everything coming in new for you. It's a completion out of here, okay? Let's get a couple more. It came out. 
somebody had a really big ego okay so this relationship could have already ended and this person feels like they have words left unsaid and things that they did not get a chance to speak okay but somebody needs to deal with you know deflating the big head okay somebody could have been inside a relationship and didn't know how to you know operate inside of it because what they experienced yeah, because some people are trying to clean stuff up, you know. It's a lot of people running around trying to clean stuff up. And it's like it's already even happened. Things have already taken place. Yeah, now a lot of these karmic energies or people that are still in this low vibration, they're having slave matches. So a slave match is basically those who feel that they are not enslaved. You know, they are starting to fight amongst each other because they felt like, you know, whatever social status, money, or whatever they had was going to prevent them from receiving this karma. But now they all turning on each other. Okay? This is the turning. Yeah. So somebody feels like, here we go again. This masculine energy is getting ready to deal with something. Okay? But whoever this judge is that was trying to clean something up on a case, they was collaborating with somebody that, you know, has a big ego that does spell work here. Yeah, this is a cosmic witch. So whoever this witch is, she does this type of work, you know, because that she uses whatever uh, psychedelics or whatever drugs these are, okay? This person could even be someone's stepsister, stepmom, um, whoever this feminine energy is, uh, was trying to keep somebody from having their, their story completed here. They didn't want you to be loved. They didn't want you to love yourself. Somebody felt like you was, you know, meant to be the house slave or somebody that's cleaning or cooking or always doing something for someone else. And they literally annoyed by you, you know, coming up because you're a prayer warrior here. So you have somebody's a prayer warrior and you keep praying, keep sending your prayers up because God has already heard you. Yeah. This person just simply wanted to borrow your boots and be who you are. Okay. Couldn't walk a block in your fucking boots. Couldn't walk a block, but wants to appraise you wants to speak like you, want to look like you, smell like you, laugh like you, okay? This person doesn't know what it takes to actually go through the healing process when you've been treated like dirt your whole life, okay? And when you come up out of that dirt, you are who God has already called you to be, okay? It's not going to take you as long as others because God has called you to be who you are. 